Hello, my name is Yesenia Garcia, and I am a workforce outreach specialist with Workforce Solutions Lower Rio. Today, I will be guiding you through the tool Texas Reality Check. And Texas Reality Check is a great online tool that will show you how much your living expenses will cost, the amount of money that you will need to earn every year to pay for those expenses, and the jobs available that can provide you with the salary that you need. There are three options to explore from, the Lifestyle Calculator, the Occupation Calculator, and the quick view calculator. Today we are going to explore the occupation calculator. And this is the option where you choose an occupation, then review your expenses to see if it's a salary that can support your desired lifestyle. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first section is location, and you will notice that only the 36 major cities from Texas are listed. And a quick suggestion before you do make your selection would be to ask yourself a few questions such as, where do you plan to live after you graduate? A big city, a small town, close to home? It's important that you keep in mind that the cost of living can vary based on location. You will also notice the option to go back to start. And in the sections ahead, you will see a return to previous section in case you may want to modify your selections. I will be choosing McAllen for the purposes of this walkthrough but you may choose whichever city is closest to you or where you would want to live. Next is the occupation section, and here's where you make the selection for the career you intend on pursuing. As you can see, you can search by career titles, filter by education level, or filter by occupational clusters. Occupations will appear in a drop-down list by career titles together with the annual salary for Texas. I will be using the Search Career Titles option to select an occupation. I am going to type Register Nurse and select the career title from the list generated. In Step 3, we are going to review and confirm the annual salary, income tax amount, annual expenses, and maximum monthly expenses for the chosen occupation to see how much money we'll be able to spend each month. Let's go ahead and click on Start Your Reality Check to move on to the next sections. Now let's go over the saving section. Saving money is like paying yourself first. You can choose to pay yourself a little like 2% or a lot such as 10% of your income. You can also opt to choose the I do not plan to save money, which means that you will not be placing any of your money in a savings or retirement account each month. Also notice that your expenses will be itemized as you make your selections on your top right hand corner in a box label your expenses. Listed are the chosen location, the total for that current section, and the total monthly expenses up to that point. This is a great reference and stopping point to keep in mind so that you reflect on your selections before moving on to the next sections. Before any selections, our total is 4,556. Now let me make my selection. I will select the minimum of 2% savings, See how the total went down to 4465 after I made the selection of $91 in savings. Now that we cover everything in this section, let's go ahead and move on to housing. So a huge part of being an adult is paying for your own living space. You decide how much money you will spend each month. But before we choose a housing option, I'd like to go over the learn more section located at the bottom right corner. Here, you'll get a brief summary of the housing options listed and how to go about each one. Housing estimates are obtained from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, and you can click on the link below to obtain further details. Now, going back to the options available. The first one is leave at home, and if you plan on enrolling in a local college or university and plan on saving on housing expenses by staying at home with your parents, this would be your option. Also, if you have any relatives where you plan on living, you could also consider this option. The following two options depend on whether you would want to have more privacy and would want to rent either a studio apartment or a one-bedroom apartment. A two-bedroom apartment would be great if you plan on looking for a roommate to share those living expenses. The home option gives you an idea of the medium home price as listed for the past year. The monthly payment includes the interest rate for a 30-year loan, and I will be choosing a one-bedroom apartment for this section. 
Our next step is utilities. Another expense to keep in mind are utilities. After you have a place to live, then it's time to get the lights turned on, the water running, and the internet hooked up. Decide which utilities you need money to spend on each month. You will notice that in this step, you can select one or more of the different options. Internet, a top priority if you're a college student. Mobile phone payment, which includes a basic plan and consists of calls and text. Water and gas, which in some cases need to be paid separately as some apartments don't include any utilities. Cable or satellite, which will provide you with a minimum premium channels, including video, music, sports, and pay-per-view and electricity, which needs to be included because whether you live in an apartment or a house, you'll need electricity to power things such as your television, your refrigerator, lights, and your Xbox. So now let me go ahead and start making my selections. I will be selecting internet, mobile phone, water and gas, and electricity. Let's head over to the next section. Another part of being an adult is buying your own food. You can choose to cook at home, grab fast food, eat at a restaurant, or a combination of two. So let's review the different options and select the one that will fit you the best. We can opt to eat at home, which means that you would have to go grocery shopping and meal prepping daily to save on those monthly expenses. You can have a combination of eating at home and grabbing fast food if you plan to split your meals between home cooked meals and fast food restaurants. The third option is to eat at home and dine out. And this is if you plan to split your meals between home cooked meals and sit down restaurants. Or you can choose to dine out at restaurants if you plan to have all of your meals outside the home at sit down restaurants. But before I make my selection, I wanna make a quick reference to our total under your expenses. Right now we have 3,590. I will be opting to eat at home and grabbing fast food and notice how our total went down to 3,190. So now that we made our selection, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. So you have a place to live and food to eat. Now it's time to find out which type of transportation you want to have and decide how much money you want to spend. Select one of the transportation options listed below. Human power. This option will get you outdoors, keep you in great shape, and will cost you nothing. Public transportation, $60. For cities with a bus line, the amount is for 20 round trip fares or unlimited rides per month. A zero amount is for cities with no bus service. Used auto, for $543. Buying a used auto will possibly allow you to save money. Sample expenses include auto payment, insurance, gas, and maintenance. Basic auto, for $733, this option provides new reliable transportation. Sample expenses are also included. Average auto, for $808, this option allows you to show up your personal style. Sample expenses are also included. And luxury auto, for $1,310, this gives you the ultimate in transportation. Sample expenses are also included. I will be choosing basic auto, which offers new reliable transportation. Now let's head over to the next section. In this step, you will notice that you will be able to select as many items as you like. You may be the type to buy clothes every month or just a couple of times a year. You decide how much money you will spend on clothing each month. You can select from basics for $25, which allows you to buy clothes when you need them. And this includes basics like t-shirts, socks, and jeans. Accessories for $50. This will allow you to buy a few accessories each month, including items such as belts, hats, sunglasses, and more. Work clothes for $100. To be able to buy work clothes on a monthly basis, including suit separates and business casual shirts and pants. And the shop to you drop option for $200, where you can shop regularly each month for any clothing or accessory items that you like. I will be choosing basics, accessories, and work clothes. So let's continue to healthcare. As you know, 
We all eventually have to go see a doctor, dentist, or optician. Keep in mind that healthcare costs can be expensive, so it's important to have insurance to offset the cost. But before we go over the options, let's head over to the Learn More section on this step. The Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, commonly called the Affordable Care Act, is a United States federal statute. The ACA includes an individual mandate that requires you to buy insurance or pay penalty if you are not covered by an employer-sponsored health plan, Medicaid, Medicare, or other public insurance programs such as TRICARE. For additional healthcare information, you can go to the links listed below. Okay, so now that we've covered that section, let's get back into the health insurance plans. So everyone must have at least basic health insurance. Here you can only select one of the following options. Keep in mind that these amounts reflect coverage for one individual, and if any dependents or family members are to be included to any insurance policy, the total amount would increase. So with employer health insurance, the average amount you pay when your employer subsidizes your medical coverage is $0. In a basic individual health insurance plan, the average amount you pay for a basic health plan when your employer does not pay for any of your medical coverage is $140. And with a premium individual health insurance plan, the average amount you pay for a basic health plan when your employer does not pay for any of your medical coverage is $180. I will select employer health insurance for this section. Now let's go over to the option of healthcare costs. Insurance plans won't cover all of your health expenses. If you wear glasses or visit a dentist regularly, you should consider adding this additional cost. Here, I will be selecting both options. Vision for $25. This amount listed includes the monthly cost to get an annual eye exam and a replacement set of glasses or contacts once per year. Dental care for another $25, which is the average cost for a biannual adult teeth cleaning and oral exam. Keep in mind that this does not include procedures like braces, fillings, etc. So now that we've made our selections, let's go over to the next section, personal care. So you have to take care of yourself by grooming, exercising, and maybe even smelling good. You decide how much to spend on your personal upkeep. Once again, you will be able to select as many options as you like in this step. You can choose from basics for $50. This option allows you to buy the basics for personal hygiene, such as soap, shampoo, toothpaste, and deodorant. Health and fitness for $100. This allows you to purchase items that help you keep you fit. Gym memberships, activity trackers, yoga classes, or fitness clothes and shoes. Professional services for $125. This allows you to purchase professional services for things like haircuts, coloring, manicures, pedicures, waxing, and more. Extras for $175. With this amount, you can buy things beyond the basics like styling gels or sprays for your hair, makeup, cologne, or perfume. Luxuries for $200. This will allow you to purchase extra luxuries like massages, spa treatments, and holistic services like acupuncture. I will be selecting basics, health and fitness, professional services, and extras. Okay, so let's head over to the next section, entertainment. In this section, you would have to ask yourselves a few questions such as, do you like staying home or do you like going to the movies? Do you like playing video games or do you like hiking? You decide how much you want to spend on entertainment. Here, you will also be allowed to make multiple selections. You can choose from home bundle for $25, to stay at home and stream shows or movies and play video games or indulge your inner bookworm. Fun bundle for $50 to go to the movies a few times a month or once or twice a month with a splurge on popcorn and candy. The adventure bundle for $75 to spend money on traveling to parks, mountains or beaches and hiking or camping outdoors. The amusement bundle for $100 to go bowling visit amusement parks or theme parks, or to attend live sporting events. The party bundle for $125 
to go see live acts at a concert, show, club, or music festival. I will be selecting the fun bundle, the amusement bundle, and the party bundle. Let's go over to our expenses section and notice how our monthly budget is now at 1,507. Okay, so let's head over to the next section, miscellaneous. The section involves miscellaneous items such as high-tech gadgets, pet care, vacations, and more. You decide how much money you will spend on these items each month. You can choose as many items as you would like to include in this step. Other items for $50 to buy different items such as cookware, housewares, or to save for a bike. Pet care for $100. Pets are wonderful, but they can be very expensive. This will allow you to feed and provide health care for your pet. Vacation for $150 to be able to travel at least once a year, possibly more depending on where you decide to go. New electronics for $200 to purchase the latest gadgets, whether it's a new phone, laptop, TV, or game system. Furniture and appliances for $250 to purchase items such as furniture and appliances for your home. I will be selecting all of the options except for pet care. So now let's go on to the next section, student loan debt. So now let's go over the options available in this step. So if you do not plan to have any student loan debt, you may choose to go right into the workforce or you may work your way through school or even earn scholarships to pay for tuition and expenses. With the selections, you would be debt free. A certificate, a non-degree training program. You can opt to choose public for $85 private $86, profit $108. Associate's degree, a degree typically completed in two years, public $70, private $120, for profit $137. A bachelor's degree, a degree typically completed in four years, public $186, private $235, for profit, $291. Master's degree, a graduate degree that usually requires two or more years of study beyond the bachelor's degree. Public, $441. Private, $494. Or a professional degree, a degree PhD or preparation to work in a profession such as law or medicine. Public, $589. Private, $625. I will be selecting the degree in bachelor's under public for $186. And now we can head over to the next section, family. Having a family can be a loving and rewarding experience, but there are significant costs involved. Food, housing, childcare, and education costs can add up very quickly. Let's review the options listed below in this section. The first option is I do not plan on having any children for zero dollars. Second option is I plan on having one child for an additional $1,348 a month. I plan on having two children for an additional $2,162 a month. Last, I plan on having three or more children for an additional $2,518 a month. But if we go over the expenses section, you will notice that we only have $671 left to spare for the month, which won't cover any expenses for additional family members. With that said, I will select the I do not plan on having any children option for this step. All done. So now let's head over to our totals. So here we have the total expenses. If you go to your right hand top corner labeled as your reality check in red, you will notice that life in McAllen will require a minimum salary of $72,892 based on the chosen lifestyle. If we continue to scroll down, you will notice to our left our selections. And right at the bottom, we have the remaining balance, which is $671.
Just below it, we have the option to go back just in case we would want to make any modifications to our selections. You can also either email or print your results. And if you want further information on how the data was compiled, you can head over to the top and click on the link Frequently Asked Questions. Also, it is highly encouraged that once you have a solid budget and occupation plan, that you share your results with a teacher, counselor, friend, or family member just to get some feedback or guidance that can assist you in creating a plan of action for career and lifestyle satisfaction. And this concludes today's tutorial on the Occupation Calculator from the Texas Reality Check website. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and that you find it useful for all your future endeavors. Thank you and have a great day.